How to Invest in Oil, Ways to Get Started By StockCryptoBonus.com Investing in oil can be a lucrative endeavor, but it also carries considerable risk. Before diving into the deep end of the oil market, it is important to do your due diligence and understand the potential risks and rewards of investing in oil. There are a few different ways to invest in oil. One popular method is through exchange-traded funds, ETFs, which allow you to buy into a basket of companies involved in oil production, refining, and transportation. ETFs allow investors to diversify their holdings and limit their risk exposure. Another way to invest in oil is through stocks, futures, or options. When investing in oil stocks, your goal is to purchase shares of oil companies that are likely to increase in value as the oil market goes up. Oil futures and options are derivative contracts that allow investors to trade on the movement of the price of oil without actually buying any physical barrels of oil. These contracts can be used both for speculation and hedging purposes, but they come with a high degree of risk and require investors to be knowledgeable about the markets. Oil is a global commodity and can be affected by geopolitical events, as well as global supply and demand. Investors should consider these factors when deciding how to invest in the sector. It is important to have a long-term strategy in place and to conduct ongoing research in order to make informed decisions about your investments. Ultimately, investing in oil is a high-risk venture that can pay off if you do your homework and understand the potential risks and rewards. What's important? Investors have always made money from the oil industry. You can invest in oil by buying energy ETFs and mutual funds, MLPS, buying stock in an oil and gas company, or trading oil options in futures. If you worry about the morality of fossil fuels, you might want to invest in renewable energy. Why should you even think about putting money into oil? One of the most important things that keeps the economy going is oil. It makes shipping and moving possible. It runs factories and probably your car, too. Even if oil prices drop because of worries about how political events or pandemics will affect them, oil companies will still be among the most valuable companies in the world. There are a few ways to add oil and gas to your portfolio if you want to get a piece of the profits from the lucrative oil and gas industry. How to invest in oil With a brokerage account, it's easy to buy stock in an oil or gas company. Because these and other big oil companies trade on the major stock exchanges, you can buy and sell shares without paying any fees. Invest in an oil and gas company by buying stock. Your brokerage account is probably the best place to look if you want to invest in oil with a small amount of money. Now that big brokerage houses offer no-fee stock trades, you can buy stock without worrying about fees eating into your investment. Some brokers let you buy fractional shares, so you don't even have to have enough cash to buy a full share. If you think oil prices will go up, it can be smart to invest in oil and oil-related companies. Some of the best oil companies whose shares you can buy are Exxon Mobil, XOM, Shell PLC, Shell, Chevron, CVX, BP, BP. You can get into the energy market without having to buy oil directly if you invest in oil companies. Invest in energy ETFs and mutual funds. With exchange traded funds, ETFs, and mutual funds, you can buy a group of investments all at once. In this area, there are many funds to choose from. Some let you invest in a group of stocks or oil and gas futures. Others, though, focus on certain places or types of oil. You can invest in some of the best energy index funds, such as Energy Select Sector SPDR Fund, XLE, Vanguard Energy Index Fund, VDE, Fidelity MSCI Energy ETF, Funny, SPDR SP Oil and Gas Equipment and SVCs ETF, Exus. Again, you can trade ETFs with almost any online broker without having to pay commissions. And there are many good brokers for mutual funds that offer a wide range of no-transaction fee, NTF, funds. Buy and sell futures and options on oil. Options and futures are often used by expert and professional investors to make money on the commodities markets and other markets as well. And since crude oil is a huge commodity, you can also trade options and futures to invest in it. But if you don't know much about options or futures, make sure to sit down and study before jumping in. If you don't know what you're doing, this kind of investment is very risky. Even if you do, there's a good chance you'll lose money trading options and futures, so know the risks before you start. This gives you a direct way to invest in oil. 
your investment will go up and down with the prices. Depending on your broker, you may need more permission to trade options. Again, this is not for people who want to know how to make small investments in oil. It works best for people with a lot of assets. You should only invest what you can lose if things don't go as planned. Invest in Master Limited Partnerships MLPs. If you want to know how to invest in oil wells, this is one of the more straightforward ways to do it. Master Limited Partnership is what MLP stands for in short. An MLP is a type of business entity that trades like a stock on the public market. But there are some important things to know. MLPs are like private partnerships when it comes to taxes. This means that you only pay taxes on the money you get back. But you can buy and sell as easily as if the company were public. Investors are called partners, even though most of them don't do much to help the business. MLPs are the best investments for people who want to make money from their investments. Most of the time, they're not as volatile as commodities. But they have their own rules for filing taxes and usually don't appreciate all that much. This makes them a less common investment than oil stocks in general. Ethical issues with oil drilling. Investors who are interested in ESG investing, environmental, social, and governance, might worry about the morality of investing in oil companies. After all, burning fossil fuels is one of the main ways that CO2 gets into the air. Because greenhouse gas emissions like CO2 keep the heat from the sun on the surface of the earth, they are one of the main causes of climate change, which is a threat to our very survival on this planet. Investors who want to make a difference and are worried about the risks fossil fuels pose to the climate might not want to put their money in oil companies. ESG funds sometimes have oil companies in them. ESG doesn't just look at the environment, it also looks at diversity and how a company treats its employees. It's also important to know that some of the biggest investors in renewable energy are oil companies. BP, for example, wants to cut its oil production by 40% and increase the amount of energy it gets from renewable sources by 50 gigawatts, which is the same amount of power as 50 nuclear plants. Sustainable Alternatives Putting money into oil isn't the only way to put money into energy. Investors who want to get into the energy market but don't want to put their money into companies that use fossil fuels could look into green energy and other more sustainable options. Renewable energy companies, for example, get their power from sources like the sun and wind that can be used over and over again. First Solar, for example, is one of the best solar panel manufacturers in the world. NextEra Energy, which invests in both renewable energy and storage, is one of the largest wind and solar energy producers. But energy can go down if the sun isn't out or if there isn't enough water. Another alternative to fossil fuels that is often used is nuclear energy. Nuclear power is made by using nuclear fission in a power plant to split a uranium atom. Since no fuel is used, it doesn't give off any greenhouse gases. But nuclear energy can be dangerous and makes radioactive waste that can be hard to get rid of in the right way. Nuscale Power, Centris Energy, and Cameco Corporation are some of the top companies in the nuclear energy industry. Oil Investing Pros and Cons Pros Oil is a valuable commodity that is used all over the world and won't go away anytime soon. Thanks to fractional shares, you can buy oil without a lot of money. Oil ETFs and stocks that have the chance to pay dividends. Cons Might not fit with some ESG investing principles. Oil prices can change quickly and are often affected by geopolitical events that happen around the world. Bottom line Oil investments can be profitable, and there are a lot of ways to get started. But investors should be aware that the price of this commodity can change a lot because of geopolitical events and other things they can't control. It's also important to note that you don't have to put all of your money into oil. Stocks in clean energy or energy sources that can be used again and again are also exciting opportunities. Even stocks in niche areas like solid-state batteries could bring in a lot of money. This video originally appeared as an article found at StockCryptoBonus.com. Read more articles like it and get more information, tips and advice about the stock and cryptocurrency markets at StockCryptoBonus.com. Remember that the price of investments may vary depending on changing market conditions. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notification to get our latest videos on big investing and financial topics of the day.